Hi and welcome to this uh, uh, tutorial which uh, uh, is basically well basically the problem I have uh, with my uh, car is that it's gone in for an MOT and it's failed uh, on uh, the reverse lights so I went to actually get the reverse light switch uh, from the dealers uh, and I inquired everybody else as well and they said basically that I have to buy uh, the whole assembly and that's about uh, 360 quid something like that I think uh, 300 plus that so I've been on the uh, forum and uh, someone's, someone's actually uh, by being through the same process and what they've actually done is uh, they've added about 10 photographs of telling you how to take it out of the car and well not exactly take it out of the car not the step by step but they've given about 10 photographs that's explaining uh, roughly how to uh, uh, remove the uh, reverse light switch in there or just have a look and see if the contacts are, uh, you know, if there's a problem with them basically. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm at this stage where I've taken it out of the vehicle and this is attached obviously to the gear levers uh, linkage um, and uh, this only has a, a simple clip which you just uh, slide off and the whole thing comes out uh, of the vehicle and it has the four uh, bolts that you have to remove just to re loosen it and then just remove the clip and the whole thing comes out also you gotta take out uh, a few of the lights uh, connectors uh, the live wires uh, which highlight uh, light up the uh, the gears here on the panel and uh, also the gear I think uh, uh, one two three f uh, four they electro electronically control so you need uh, you've got a socket here uh, and two there to connect up and I'll simply just remove them and basically now I'm gonna uh, attempt to uh, uh, open it up and find out where the switch is and if I can uh, basically uh, salvage it in other words so uh, bear with me uh, it's my first attempt I'm not a mechanic so uh, uh, let's see uh, what happens uh, so see if I can save myself uh, a few quid so here goes um, by the looks of it, how it opens, I've just had a rough look. Um, it's basically there's a yeah, screws, basic screws, small electric screwdriver comes in handy, and flathead and a Phillips. And basically, I think I have to lift these up clips here I don't know if you can see them but let me see if I can bring that closer to the camera so basically oops trying to get into the right here we go right one here you have to lift this up lift it up and the other one is basically here so two of them and if you follow that round this one you just push out basically and it should come apart down here all this up here through there and basically it goes up there and it just comes apart so 
you got a, a seal there as well and basically they just push out so let's give that a go <coughs> So that's stuck under there. Now the other one. Push that in there. So those two are pried open. And just looking just in case there's anything else that I need to do. By the looks of it. I think that's about it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to pry it open gently if I can. But I think I need to, need to remove this screwdriver, put this under there. Gonna try and pry it open. Fortunately, I haven't got another screwdriver. As I said, I'm not a mechanic. There we go. That's pushed them apart. Good leverage on the uh, where I am holding this here. I can get rid of since the, that's kind of pried apart. have to help it along a little and that seems to be working here it is right that's what the lid looks like blow a closer view it's got a bit of uh, dust there and that's just basically uh, rubbish that's collected in there and uh, here are the notches I think here are the notches for the uh, for a reason there basically uh, I think it's this uh, let's see what it looks like inside and what those notches are there for uh, since that goes into there, it's uh, I think that's the switch. I'm not sure, but it could be. I think that makes a contact on them here, the back of it. That bit there, it's got a little ball bearing on there, and it makes the contacts on them ball bearings so this is what it looks like that's just the lid let's put that aside now back to uh, the uh, main body uh, see 
that's your gear gear stick and it shifts this one's the this is what changes the gears um, now let's see I mean basically at the moment it's in, it's in park and let's see if I put it into reverse and you can see basically uh, it moves through all the gears I'll give you a bit of a close up I'll go back in reverse through the gears and this lifts up as well let's see if I can there how it moves now we're back in park so basically <coughs> those are the inside workings of it Let's see if we can. Uh, obviously, the if you get to this stage, and if that is the uh, reverse light switch, um, I think in order to move remove that, you have to bring the go through the gears, bring it up to I think first gear. There it is, first gear and then actually remove this but it, I found that I've, I couldn't find one nobody's uh, selling these uh, on their own I went to the dealers as I said before and they go I have to buy the whole complete assembly and I'm going to try to open this and uh, actually see uh, what the problem is uh, on the inside so I just need to get a spanner bear with me